Turning now to your community focus, we recently told you about the do's and don'ts of recycling and around the holidays with all those boxes, wrapping paper and bags piling up, it's an extra important to know what you can and can't put into your recycling bin. Joining us now to answer some of the questions that we got from you at home, Greg Cooper from the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection. Greg, thanks so much for being here. Sure. Hi, Kim. So before we get into some of the viewer questions that I got after uh, my piece with you aired a couple weeks back, can you just give us the sort of top line rules for what can and can't go into our recycling bins? Well, it's important to note that between Thanksgiving and New Year's, we generate about 25 percent more waste than normal. And so it's important. The good news is 80 percent of that material is recyclable, can be put out on your curbside. Got to focus on the cardboard boxes, the paper, the cereal, the food containers. Those all can go in your recycling bin. The things you want to stay away from are things that might are not acceptable from the recycling facility, could damage the equipment or contaminate the recycling itself. So let's talk about some of those items that you don't want in the recycling bin. I know food waste should never be left in, you know, like a pizza box. You don't want to throw the pizza away inside the box. Uh, and plastic bags are, are a big problem as well, correct? Plastic bags. And when you think about plastic bags, you know, the bubble wrap that you may have from a gifts or the cellophane wrapping paper, any of that material that is kind of does not rip easily. Uh, can bind up the machinery and is actually an unrecyclable material at this point in time. So we're looking at some of the video that we got when we came on the tour with you up in Avon a couple weeks ago. Here are some of the questions that we received from viewers. I'll go through them one at a time. We got a question from a viewer about milk cartons because they have that sort of waxy coating on them. Can those be recycled? That depends on the program in which the community you live in. In Massachusetts, they are not widely uh, accepted for recycling because of that coated material and the lack of markets for that material. But there is a growing opportunity for that. We think in the future that will be something we will be able to include in our recycling. Gotcha. Okay. What about wrapping paper? I know you mentioned some wrapping paper can't be recycled. Can any of it go into the recycling bin? You know, we, we tend to just you know, to tell people to not put any gift pap wrapping in there because so much of it has either glitter, maybe cellophane, may have some coating on it. Uh, so unless it rips really easily and you can definitely say it's it's paper only, uh, I would, you know, go against kind of putting that into your recycling bin. Here's another question that we got from a viewer. What about those burnt out string lights that no longer work? Can we recycle those in any way? Those certainly should not go in your recycling bin. Uh, the, the facility that takes your material has a bunch of conveyor belts and all sorts of equipment which the lights tangle up in. You can go online and find uh, opportunities to have those mailed back to uh, organizations that will either reuse them or recycle them. If they're working ones, obviously look to donate them. And otherwise there are recycling opportunities out there, but they're not uh, as convenient as your curbside. And last question, just quickly before we let you go, Greg, what about uh, the packing peanuts, any styrofoam that comes in those uh, boxes that we might have gotten from online shopping? Yes, the packing peanuts and the styrofoam cannot go in your recycling bin. But as you might have noticed, a lot of it's coming in that bubble wrap stuff. That actually can be taken back along with your grocery bags to many supermarkets. So it's the same material uh, if you have those pocket bubbles uh, you can take those back to the store, but uh, don't put the styrofoam or the packing peanuts into the recycling. Just try to look for an opportunity to reuse them. So uh, lots of things can be reused or maybe brought somewhere else if they can't go into your recycling bin. We appreciate all of the info. Greg Cooper from the Mass DEP, thanks so much for being here at 4. Thank you very much. Have a happy new year.